My brood siblings, I come with glad tidings. For though we may have wandered aimless in the desert with but bread and salt for sustenance, it is time for rejoicement. For lo, the Sky Mother is cometh, and with her a great bounty! Yeah, so in case you've been asleep under a rock, I come with good news. New Tyranids, 10th edition refresh, and it's not Space Hulk. Woo! Got this news in the Adepticon preview stream. In case you missed it, we did a watch along and it's all recorded. It's linked in the description below. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to quickly go through the new Tyranids that we saw in that video and say what they could be. If you want a deeper dive into what the new Tyranids could be and what I think about them, High Fleet Moloch thinks about them, and what High Fleet Hydra thinks about them, you can catch us on our stream this Friday. I will link that in the description below, and the recording will be there after the fact, uh, where we're going to go to a, a much deeper dive about what we've seen, what we think about it, and, and design and all that. But just for this one, I wanted to hit the high notes, get some screen caps from the preview that Games Workshop shared, and just let you know what I think they are. So here we go. So first of all, we got the obvious one, the new Termagants. If you were smart and you were looking at Terminator's eye, you could see that what was being shown there was a Termagant, and how fitting. They showed us one new Terminator and one new Termagant. Well, I guess a couple of Termagants, but we got the new design for the Termagants. So that one, everyone knows what that is. I'm going to skip over that one, but we'll talk about that more on a future video. However, following on from those Termagants is this sketchy image, which is something that looks kind of like those Termagants with claws instead of with a uh, flesh borer. So initially, I thought these things might have been gene sealers because you see them really quick running through the video. But now I'm wondering if these are actually the new Hormagants. Uh, it, they look very similar to how the ter Termagants are portrayed in this video. So I'm a little concerned that this might just be a dual kit, that they might just slap some uh, sending talents onto the Termagants. Still pretty good because those Termagants are really nice. But these look very close and not that different. So these could be new Hormagants. Hard to remember the exact order they went in the video, but the next thing we saw is this beautiful beast here, which no one was confused about what that could be. That was very clearly a Screamer Killer, uh, which has been rumored. And right here, we're seeing that Screamer Killer just unloading into the face of a Space Marine with its Bioplasma. This is fantastic, especially like the next, the very next scene where you see like the glop the Bioplasma of the Space Marine like slop down beside his brethren. But uh, yeah, I grabbed a bunch of different stills from the video because we got a bunch of looks at what this thing is gonna look like. That's probably the best one there where you get a kind of clear shot of a big bulbous head. You get the carapace, the back looking more like a traditional Carnifex. You get the four siding talons there, which are very different from the kind of siding talons that we use now. And then this one, it's harder to see, but if you look in the bottom part of the picture, there's the big bulbous head, there's the, the small armor plate on the head, more reminiscent of a gene sealer than it is of like a traditional Tyranid. You get those three holes, which we normally see in the side of Tyranid heads, but they've been moved up higher. And then in the side of this one's head, there's kind of like a gill structure, which is really curious. And I'm interested to see more. Uh, another shot of the back of the Carnifex just as it runs by, so we can kind of see the, the profile of it. Looks very much like the Carnifexes we have now. Sorry, I keep calling it a Carnifex. I should be saying Screamer Killer. It looks like the tail might be a little stumpier. Um, we might have like the big bell bottom hooves on it. I'm really hoping for that we saw in the original, but mostly very similar to the current kind of effects. If you look in the middle of the back carapace, there might be a hint of those kind of globe-shaped vents that uh, the Screamer Killer had on its back, but not sure. Here's one of the kind of effects getting smacked in the face with a double barrel last cannon. Cool because it lights up everything. We can see a little more detail on the arms that it looks like a short scything talon on the end of a really long arm for like reaching. And then poor Screamy Killy, all shot up, about to collapse. Oh, he's, he's not looking so good. He's like some guts leaking out and stuff. When he collapses on his side here, you get another good look at the shape of the head, especially those gill structures on the side, which make the head look less like a, a tubular gaunt head and more kind of like it bands out, like it's, it's it's more broad, which may well be where people got the idea of a cerebro effects or something. They saw a carnifex with a big head. They're like, that's a psychic carnifex. I think after carnifex, the next thing we get is this poor apothecary dude who gets snuck up on. I'm fairly certain this is a lictor because one of my dear friends on the internet thought a much better screen cap than I did, which was of the apothecary's weapon, like trying to cut through the arm of this thing. And you can see like the kind of interior detail of the scything talon arm there. It looks very much like the mantis claws on a lictor. However, I wasn't sure about this one because in some of the other views of this same critter, it looks a lot more like a broodlord. Like it's got that kind of uh, horn on its head, which we're not used to seeing on a lictor. 
It's got the tentacles, the face tentacles there. And something about the head set more broodlord to me. Also where those scything talons are. They look like they're mounted in like the normal upper uh, limbs, not like up on the shoulders where we see them on a lictor. And then the other thing to note is you can see a better detail on this upper arm. And it has like the, I don't know, the, the, the bicep, has the forearm, and then it has a scything talon curving underneath. And though that could be just a traditional scything talon, something about the, the armor plate on the wrist and the way that it curves, that speaks to me of like a lictor talon. Oh, and I got another screenshot of the apothecary trying to shoot at the liquid thing. You can't see a ton of detail there. You can just kind of make out the outline of it with those big scything talons. It could be those mantis talons we recognize from Lictor. You can see a little suggestion of the, the feeder tendrils on the face there, a little suggestion of the horn. I think this is a Lictor. I think this is the thing that may have been misidentified as Broodlord in the rumors. Oh, we've got uh, what is pretty clearly Biovores. I guess they could be Pyrovores. Um, here, where you have something that has kind of like a gaunty looking head with like a larger growth on its back, which looks like a cannon. Interesting that it has kind of like a bayonet scything talon on the bottom. There's at least two of them there in the picture. You can see one in the background to get more detail on the shape of the cannon and the back carapace. And then one in the front to see like the head there underneath the cannon and the kind of supporting structures holding up the cannon. We got some of the weirdest things in this preview are these bulky tentacle boys with big spore chimneys on their backs and a bunch of tentacles. I think that these were the things that people called magistrants in the in the rumors because they said it was like a pyrovore mixed with a venomthrope. And this does look like the kind of scuttling on the ground that you'd expect from a pyrovore with like some tentacles that you would think would look more like a venomthrope. It looks like it's got kind of a goofy face here, but what I think what it's doing is actually eating a space marine right there. And the space marine is getting in front of its head. So we can't really get a good look at its head. But one of my clever friends on the internet, DAC White, realized that if you go over to one of the 40k web pages and you try to sign up for their newsletter, it shows it in like phone vertical format. You can enter all the fields. But if you turn your phone into landscape format, the art in the background extends beyond the form and you can get a really good look at this piece of art, which looks to be one of those, what we're calling magistrants, scuttling around on the ground, looks like with four scything talons. There's gotta be another set of limbs in there somewhere. And what I think what we're seeing there is the head in the front and it's got the feeder tendrils, but it's like an octopus where that's like opened up and it's like expanding across whatever it's eating. Very gross, very creepy. And a big bulbous butt. I don't know what that's doing. We'll call it a magistrant for now. I'm hoping the name changes because that name is a little weird. Then, uh, okay, well, I have to admit when I'm wrong, Lynn was right. Shrikes! We got a flying warrior in here. Uh, this has been rumored as the HQ selection for the new 10th edition box set for the Tyranids. It's going to be a winged warrior. We see the wings. We see one set of scything talons. I guess there isn't another set of limbs in there, but the wings are the other set of limbs. Um, head with like a big kind of like horn on it. It does look big and beefy. Someone noted this could be a dual kit where we get a new model for a prime and then there's an option for wings on it. And this is a good hint that we may well be getting winged warriors, which will make Flynn Hammer very happy. And then finally, the one that I am most excited about, who I'm affectionately referring to as the Sky Mud. But this is probably the, well, I'd say it, but we got the name from Valrak and Valrak does such a nice job of it. So I'll let him- Emerus, it. Emmet. Em oh, I can't said a word. Norn Emerusa. <laughs> the Norn Emissary. I'm guessing this is what he was told about when he said Norn Emissary. This has also probably been identified as the Maliceptrix. The Kenine among you will notice that this is very similar to this good old boy, which is the classic second edition Zonethrope. Look at that big sunflower head. So someone else noted that this is very much like the Tyranid version of the Silent King because we've got the one unit and then alongside it people have said these might be psychic spore mines but i think what these are going to be is like the the men here or whatever those things that come with the silent king the two like floating obelisks i'm guessing these are just like synapse drones for the born emissary that boost its power somewhat but there's a really really great picture of this on games workshops warhammer community article if you want to get up close and personal with it it's really cool like i like the look of it and i love how it's presented here coming in on this library and my brain doesn't stand a chance just fries them that that is dang cool. So yeah, just to summarize, I think what we've seen in this video is we've seen the new Termagants running along because we know that they're going to be in the box. We've seen a 
new Screamer Killer Carnifex, which has been rumored. We may have seen new Hormigaunts because there's something that jumps on the uh, Dreadnought in the video and kind of like tears it up. We probably saw a new Tyranid a Winged Prime of some kind. Don't know if that's going to be, a, it could be a special character like the Parasite of Mortrex where it's just that one Winged Warrior, but hopefully he's bringing some friends. We saw something that may have been misidentified as a new Broodlord in the rumor speculations, but looks like it could be their new version of Elixir. That's what I would put my money on. If we have what we're going to keep calling Magistrons until we get a different name for them. Maybe that's the name for them. Odd big butt guys with lots of tentacles gobbling people up. And we got the Norn Emissary, Maliceptrix. Really cool, super floating psychic thing that looks like it's going to be probably some kind of Lord of War, although we don't really have a clear indication of how large it is. Oh, sorry. We also got Biovores. Is that new biovores, which are needed, or they could be, I guess they could be pyrovores, not really sure. I think that this all aligns very closely with what Valrak has rumored for the 10th edition starter box. It's also the case that there's a number of things here that you can see where certain things were misidentified in previous rumors, like when people said, Oh, it's going to be an, a zone throw HQ unit, they're probably looking at this thing, or oh, it's going to be a brood lord, they're probably looking at that lictor. Thing. It's going to be Cerebro effects. They're looking at a card effects with a really big head and not necessarily identifying it accurately. And I honestly believe if the people who shared those rumors, at first I was assuming they had seen some kind of images of like what was going to be the contents of the box. But now I'm wondering if they just saw this video or if they, they got some kind of preview or something or if they saw stills from it. Because this video was probably in production for a long time. It's a very nice CG video. All the things that were in those rumors are shown in this video. That's it for me for now. But like I said, we're going to be having a stream. Uh, if you're watching this video later, it's going to be already recorded. You can watch it right away we're gonna bring together the creature conference crew which started off as me moloch and hydra talking about tyranny design of like the current line of tyranids and we're gonna do a little tyranny design deep dive into these images on the stream so join us for that or if you're watching this later check out the recording in the description below and yeah super excited for one hot tyranid summer my biomass is ready